The military is moving in. Trucks and soldiers, around 180 personnel being deployed to Salisbury. Their job is to aid the investigation into the attempted murder of an ex-Russian spy and his daughter. The army appeared at Salisbury Hospital in the last hour to remove a car that may have been contaminated following Sunday's events. The Home Secretary was here this morning to provide reassurance and to see for herself where the incident happened. We need all the information we can from this incident in order to make sure that everybody's safe, not just around this incident, but nationally. We have to give the police all the space that they need in order to collect all the information to secure and to be able to be absolutely clear that there is no further risk. Amber Rudd went on to visit the hospital where the three victims are being treated for their exposure to a nerve agent. It's believed she met Detective Sergeant Nick Bailey, the police officer who responded to the incident. He is currently in a serious but stable condition. The father and daughter at the centre of this mystery remain critically ill. Yulia and Sergei Skripal have been unconscious since last Sunday afternoon. The house where he lived has seen an increase in activity throughout the last 48 hours. A growing sense perhaps that the nerve agent may have even been administered here somehow. For Mr Skripal's neighbours, like Barbara Davis, the developments have become ever more disturbing. I think it's dreadful, you know, I just can't, I just, just can't come to terms with it. Does it make you feel vulnerable that something yes. like that could happen? Yeah, just because I live on my own. Yes. And yes. to see the police here, I mean, what, what is that like? Horrible. Yeah, I don't do this sort of thing, you know, I don't like this sort of thing. The police have stressed there is no wider public health risk to the people of Salisbury. But there is anxiety as the tempo of this investigation increases before them.